Hello everyone, this is Rishabh Singh. I'm a legal intern at Lexis and Company. And today I'll be talking about the disadvantages of Consumer Protection Act 1986. Under the old act, there were certain disadvantages uh, encountered and the same will be discussed in this video uh, uh, because of which the said act had to be amended to give certain advantages to the consumer. The first reason was that the act never allowed a consumer to approach a consumer forum. Uh, if they had any other solution or remedy to the problem uh, or deficiency in the law. Second was if um, it was forlorn that a consumer could only approach the forum if he suffered loss or damage due to any unfair trade practice or a uh, you can say deficiency in service. The act uh, dealt with uh, dangerous and hazardous goods but uh, failed to place any liability for the supplier of uh, such goods. It also never elaborated on safety requirements and uh, permitted levels of hazardous substances in uh, goods. Over a period of time, uh, there has been advancement in technology and uh, with the introduction of e-commerce and digital commerce as an uh, additional manner of conducting business. This, uh, I mean, the changes to the existing legislation became uh, crucial to protect consumer interests under uh, these new modes of business. So the old act, which was the 1986 act, had provisions to deal uh, with electronic goods or technological goods and uh, these modern forms of doing business. These were the modern uh, forms of doing business. Hence, uh, a change was needed to catch up with the growing trend of technology and uh, technology driven services. The Average consumer spending power has increased and hence it was important that the forum uh, be given the higher uh, pecuniary restriction to avoid crowding and pendency in other courts. And also the uh, 1986 Act never permitted the forums to grant uh, intern injunction, injunctions uh, which meant that uh, there were no uh, Res restrain till pendency from uh, doing anything detrimental to to the interest of the consumer as also the forum lack power uh, take up cases like Suomoto. Uh, the features of the new act which is the Consumer Protection Act 2019 were that uh, the first feature was commencement of e-filing the new act lays down provisions permitting uh, consumers to file complaints ele electronically or through the uh, process of e-filing. The proceedings and evidence can be done through video conferencing, thereby giving procedural ease and reducing hassle for the consumers. Further, a uh, consumer can also file complaint from when, uh, whenever, uh, wherever he resides rather than relying on territorial jurisdiction. Uh, second is inclusion of unfair trade practices. The Consumer Protection Act 2019 uh, introduces unfair trade practice definition uh, and gives privacy to consumers for information they share in uh, confidence. Any disclosure uh, has to be made in accordance uh, with the provision of any other law. The third is a procedure for a procedure for appeal uh, altered. The opposing party has to deposit 90%, uh, I mean, 50, sorry, 50% 50 of the amount ordered by district commission as opposed to the earlier maximum amount of rupees 25,000 as the old ceiling has been made uh, redundant. Fourth reason is, uh, the, I mean, the fourth thing is inclusion of uh, e-commerce transactions. Under the 2019 Act, e-commerce transactions are included for uh, uh, adjudication under direct sales. The fifth is mediation as an ADR. ADR means alternate dispute resolution. Under the Consumer Protection Act 2019, mediation has uh, been introduced as an alternate mode of dispute resolution. Uh, 
the sixth is uh, augmented penalties in the new act the uh, central consumer protection authority imposes a penalty up to rupees 1 lakh um, on a on a uh, producer or an endorser for false or or uh, deceiving advertisement as also a sentence uh, for imprisonment for up to 2 years is provided for a repeat offender may get penalized with uh, a fine of rupees 5 lakhs and face imprisonment uh, of up to 5 years so this was all about the topic thank you so much